What is up everybody? Minecraft Nudist is back with more videos. That's right. You guys seem to just crazy love these. I don't know what it is, but people are leaving comments like every one hour and that makes me feel wanted. It gets me right here, man. Yeah, anyways, let's get started with the coding. I forgot one thing earlier and that was the cell script death and what this does is if you die in the game it goes to this and says what you did so CLS echo you died <laughs> oh no I died echo you lost some stuff Set slash a exp equals exp um, button percentage um, then space and then we have again the variable exp exp within the parentheses um, then space time space and uh, Apparently, 65 slash 100, I think. Yeah, I'll just go with that for now. Um, if I'm right, then it most likely will work. And then set HP equal to 1. Then pause. Null. And I, I don't think I've explained this, but what null does for pause is it kind of just makes it disappear like instead of saying okay press any key to key to continue for pause <coughs> you press no and then that hides it so basically it still works the same it just doesn't show that it says that you have to press another key you just press another key and then it goes to the next thing so then after that you go to um or go to home okay now there's one more cell script I forgot before making um the load thing oh man I gotta reorganize this for a second okay copy paste then just I just like things organized <laughs> Okay, next we have run away. Hmm, now what is it that we put in this? Uh, CLS echo and then you successfully. Wait, how do you spell successfully? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not that. Uh, I'm not that big on spelling. <laughs> You successfully ran away. And making pe people feel better. But then again, set HP equal to 1. Because then it sets your, well, HP, your health points to 1. Because of the fact that you ran away from a fight. So, just deal with it, okay? This is, this is what I got. And then again with the null, the pause null, um, that also works for timers, which I'm not going to get into right now because we don't have, we don't need timers for this game right now. So anyways, after, after that, and then go to home, and then there's another cell script that we also have to complete here, and that would be called level up see that's right here so if your XP equals the XP till then or um, your EXP equals the XP till 
then that means that um you level up. So what we're gonna do in level up here is uh just quick enter. Um <coughs> sorry, I'm kind of sick. Okay, so I'm gonna type CLS Ugh. Echo Hmm Congrats. Oops. <laughs> Congrats. Level up. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do for that is um a pause and then null. Put a space and then null. Um we're gonna do the null you see we're doing the null thing again. And then once we're done with that, set um oh hang on a second yeah anyways sorry about that quick pause had to do something anyways slash a level equals percent level percent setting the variable but then plus one we're gonna add one to our level which makes sense for you know leveling up and then set slash a exp equals um exp minus exp till and then but then we're going to times that um by er wait a minute no, 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 I'm thinking of something else and uh, I need to fix that too Okay, slut set slash a exp till equal to which then this is where things start getting complicated. I'm just kidding. They're gonna get all normal and stuff. But I'm sure you guys can understand this if I mean if you're even watching this video, considering that you are interested in programming, you should at least have a little bit of knowledge of what I'm doing right now. Um, and then I'll times that by 66 slash 100. Okay, so now that we have, here, just space these out. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. Um, so what we have here is um every time you go like every time you level up the x the exp till increases so t it times that um it times the exp till doubled times 66 but then divides it by 100 and then that um leaves into a uh or leads into a uh, reasonable raise in the exp till so I bet you some of you that are watching are like I have no idea what you're talking about dude don't worry you'll get it soon enough you'll get it soon enough and plus it would just help to watch my um, how to make a game in notepad series um, you could just watch that and it kinda teach you a little bit um, about it well, actually, I don't really know if it does, because I haven't watched them in a while. And, uh, I kind of forgot what's in them. But I'm I'm sure you'll learn about something. After all, it's a tutorial. Then, set slash A, power gain, equals power gain, percent. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to plus that by one. So you add to your power gain that. So then set HP equal to a hundred. So it increases or increases or decreases or whatever, but just sets your HP to a good even one hundred. And then go to save, which we haven't written yet, but you guys will find about it too find out about it soon enough so let's start working on this 
Okay, so where exactly were we? Uh, hang on a second, I just need a little bit of space here. Um, so it looks like we got every... No, wait. Uneven. This cannot be. There. <laughs> <coughs> yes. And then put a dot there, and then we're going to say where... Do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Um, and then we'll have another dot to separate all that. Echo, echo, echo. Okay, now that we have all that, space one dot. Um, I was going to say out side second spelling um outside the village and then two for two we're gonna have um shop and then three we are going to have the healer And basically, when you go to this person, you spend money to get fully healed. And then four, we'll have save game. Okay, so now that we have that, and then we're just going to add one more here. Echo five dot exit, which obviously exits the game. So basically, you have a double menu here and here but this is mostly what everything is or where everything goes kind of so what we're gonna do now um, is we're gonna actually work right now with the save system itself um, that will be very complicated but I'm sure we can get it with uh, we can squeeze it within the time that we have um, so we're just gonna make a whole new thing for it. Just add some space. Um, save. Now that we have that, we're gonna start entering, well, save. <laughs> so, <laughs> here it goes. Save. The save cell script. And this is where things are just going to start getting outrageously complicated. Oh, man. Ah, stretch. <coughs> oh, I got to stretch. Um, and this here also plays a role. So I'm just going to copy this. Er, yeah, just copy this. Okay, so, um... Okay, so now that we have that under this, we're simply going to put if, er, no, wait, we're going to, like, and then equal, and then we're going to have that. Um, so in this, write percent temp three. Okay. Ooh, three. Oh. And then one. We're going to set that to one. So now that we have that, we are going to write um, CLS. And then echo. And after echo, echo we're going to say your... No, this is where my non-cheating system comes into play. You're a... You're a cheater. And then... I'm gonna say... You... No... Save. Okay, so now that we have that... <coughs> um... Here, we're just gonna... <laughs> um, 
pause. No. And then go to stats, which we haven't made yet, but we'll make later. Okay, so now that we have all that, now this is where starts stuff starts getting all wacky doodly. Fantastic. Just make a whole bunch of space here. Um now echo saving. We'll just say that. And then with that, I'm gonna just paste what we copied. Um okay, then Echo HP. Oh, hang on a second. I'll just skip this part so you guys don't have to do this. Okay, be right back. Okay, so this is what I got. Um, so basically, just pause the video here and uh, copy this down, or simply copy and paste from the description. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.